Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, how are you? Let's just start off with no. The thumbnail and title of this video are not clickbait. I have quit my job and we're gonna do a little a little budget because I've got a final paycheck and I've got some annual leave to be paid out that, yeah, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with. So I have already allocated some money towards my house deposit. It's not a lot, um, but it was just like the scraggly leftover amount because I work with a zero base budget. So I've got $63.24 going to my house deposit. I have accounted for my September and October bills, weekly variable expenses, and my splurge money. So that is all covered for the next two months at least. Uh, I have also popped $300 in towards my emergency fund. Um, so that's got a little bit of money now in there. And I have also put some money towards health. So I've put $100 transfer into my health account. I've put $250 towards my car and Rego. So Rego's not due until March, I think. And I've just had my car serviced not too long ago. So that should get me through until, yeah, I guess I, I find a new job or, yeah, I don't know. I am, so I have actually, I've been keeping a secret. I've served my notice period. I am completely finished up with work this past week. If you follow me on Instagram, you notice I've probably been a little bit more active on Instagram during the day. So I've finished up my notice period. I am no longer employed. Haven't been for, yeah, a little over a week. Um, yeah, scary, but very exciting times. I have been sporadically applying for jobs. I'm only really looking for something part-time at the moment because I want to have more time to spend on the business and all the rest. So let's jump in because I've got, I want to go through a few things budget-wise. Um, I've got some bonus money here that I want to stuff away as well. I promised you all a new office tour and I have some shop updates to go through. So Whew, it is very nice to finally be able to come on here and say that I don't have a job anymore. So yeah, let's just, let's roll with it and let's go. I'm, it, you know, I loved my job. I loved my team. Um, I'd been there for four years. I just didn't feel like there was anything left for me there, if that makes sense. You know, I'd started in a very um, entry-level position there. I worked my way up into the operations team there. I loved them. I loved my team so much. I'm so sad that I left them. Um, but there was obviously, being a nationwide company, there was lots of other teams and lots of other, you know, people that were involved in my day-to-day -day life that, look, I am a very organized person. I will help anyone with anything. If you have a question, I'll answer it. But it got to the point. So my role, I had my operations team members here that I assisted and dealt with and all the rest. And then I also had a customer service team that if they had a question related to the operations of the business, they would come to me. I would help them. It's all good. They'd let the customer know what was going on. Um, I found that I had this compounding frustration building up because I was I was answering the same question multiple times a day. I was, you know, I, yeah, there was a lot that went into it, but it's all for the best. I'm very happy with my decision. Um, yeah, so let's get in and let's plan some of this money. So from my final pay, um, this is just my final pay. This isn't my payout for my annual leave and all the rest. From my final, from my final pay after I've taken out the next two months worth of all of my expenses, 
emergency money, car money, health money, some house deposit money, all the rest. I have $365 here that I want to play with and put some money into some sinking funds. So this cash planner here, this is A4 in size, but I'm actually thinking about getting these printed off in notepads in A5 size because I am very much a writer down and you know scribbler sort of person so yeah I'm gonna get these printed off so if anybody's interested in an A5 notepad planner it comes about 50 sheets if you just like to write things down and then you can tear it off next month next fortnight next week you can do another one so we've done what I can do or what I think is practical to do in my manifestation binder I'm not going to be touching, you know, bedroom suite, holiday, new car, insurance, office, nothing like that. They are of a less priority to me. What I do want to do is focus quite a bit here in my bills binder. And I've moved some things around in here. So into my high priority, I popped gifts. So right now in gifts, I have, I think it's $55. Yep. And I have one more birthday coming up this month and then I have another two birthdays in November. So I do want to pop some, I'm going to move my calculator for the moment. Just bring this bad boy over here. Um, I do want to prioritize some money into gifts from this $365. So what I'm going to do here is pop $25. I'll use the $50 this week for a gift for my sister. And then I've got $30 towards a gift for my niece and my mum. Obviously, I want to put some more money into that as well. All right, beautiful. What else have we got in here? RAC. I want to fully fund this. I don't want to stress about this just in case it takes me a while to find a job. I want to have a bit more time off, whatever it may be. So I have $70 in here and I want to get this up to $120, which will count that as fully funded. I'm not cash stuffing this today. I'm just planning my cash stuffing. I will film my final paycheck stuffing probably next weekend, but I want to allocate to RAC. I want to put $50 in there. All right, lovely. Next on my list, I want to prioritize prepaid as well. Again, you know, this isn't due until August of next year, but I just don't want to be thinking about, oh, I haven't put $5 towards REC this month, or I haven't put $15 towards prepaid this month. I just want to have these things fully funded and I don't want to think about them. So I have $90 in here and I'm going to put, so I need 180 so in phone plan, I'm going to allocate from $365, I'm going to put $90 in there. And that will also get me fully funded. Just one less thing that I need to worry about. So obviously, like I say, I've planned for my rent, my health insurance, car insurance, Spotify, all of those things for the next two months. Um, I've got my weekly very expensive, so groceries, fuel, splurge um i can't even remember what else i have but they're all accounted for for ex exactly the next two months and i feel like that gives me enough time to figure out what the heck i'm doing <laughs> so moving into low priority uh, i am going to put 20 dollars into beauty just because I do want to go and, you know, get a haircut and do some things while I've got the time off work to just go relax and do some things for me. So $20 into beauty. I think in there at the moment we have 90 Yep, yeah, $90 in there. Cool. All right, Christmas is fully funded, so I'm not prioritizing that at all. Black Friday as well, fully funded, so nothing going in there. I do want to put a couple of months worth of, so I would put $40 per month into my tax envelope. So if I do 40, 80, 120, if I do three months worth of tax payments, which is just to pay my accountant to do my tax, and then I'm sure if need be, worst comes to worst, 
I can cover the remaining from my business account that I've got. So this will take me up to $220 in there. And that's already, you know, over half the way done. So I'm happy with that. Okay, that's it for the bills. There is one more thing in here that I really want to prioritize getting done. And it is none of these bad boys. Office, home. It is Samsung because... We are only 20, 40, 60 dollars away from completing this savings challenge and getting myself all saved up and ready for a new phone come Black Friday time. So what I'm going to do here is Samsung. I'm going to pop 60 dollars towards that. Lovely. All right. So let's grab my calculator handy dandy calculator this one's just from Amazon I've always got it linked down below in the description I love this thing it's beautiful so let's go 25 plus 50 plus 90 plus 20 plus 120 plus 60 that brings us up to our total of three hundred and sixty five dollars so I'm gonna keep this handy because from here, I also have, I think it's like $1,100 or something that I got paid out for annual leave, which I will need to plan for. So I'm going to keep this off to the side and obviously reference that next week when I stuff this money away and yeah. Whew. Okay, that is all of that done. So what we have here, I'm going to keep manifestation off right to the side because I don't need it. So I have my bonus money here. I'm all over the shop. I'm so sorry. Got my bonus money. We all know I'm left-handed, so let's just go ahead and put that over there. Okay, I've made a plan for this money. So let's give it a count firstly. We have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85 dollars. Now, how did I come into possession of this money? We've got a marketplace sale in here we've got return and earn money from taking my cans back um and i think that's actually about it because it was forty dollars for my chair i sold and i had forty dollars for return and earn and then five dollars probably my brother paying me to hang out his washing or something silly along the way over the past couple of weeks so I've been saving this money up Whew, just for this video. Okay, let's jump in. I'm going to focus, because bills is pretty much good, I'm pretty happy with all of that. I'm going to jump in and focus on the fun binder because that won't be getting a whole lot of love over the next little while. So we'll see. So what I'm going to do, I actually need a balance bank slip because I have taken some cash out of here and it is now sitting in my bank account. So I have $100 in the account for adventure. So total $25 will make it $125 in here. I'm going to add today another $20 and another $5, which will bring me up to $150. I went last weekend to the casino, spent two nights there at the casino, spent a heap of my fun money as well. Um, I was seven, I'm not much of a gambler, and I was $70 up, and then I got, you know, am I allowed to say cocky on here? I got cocky and I was like, hmm, I can, I'm sure I can win some more, and then I left and I was like $60 down or something. So anyways... They got me, as they always do. The house always wins. <laughs> um, all right, so because I spent a bit of fun money doing obviously fun things this last week, this has dwindled down to 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 dollars. So I'm going to add in here today 40 dollars, which will bring us, I think, up to 110, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 110. So I'm back up to $110 in fun. That is just, I feel like, a nice little buffer for me to have in here. So $110 in fun. Beautiful. 
Now, normally I would have used any bonus money, you know, from marketplace sales and from return and earn on my savings challenges, but this was a little bit more of a priority to me just because I knew, as I say, this, the, this binder isn't going to get a lot of love for a little while. So while I had the money here, I wanted to put some money towards all of that. All right, let's have a little look. I've still got $20. So what I'm going to do, seasonal is very healthy on $100. Office has got $5. And to be quite frank with you, I'm probably going to take this envelope out because I'm using my card for 99% of my office transactions and all the rest. Um, but what I think I might do, we've got $10 in home. So I'm going to add another 10 to bring it up to 20. And what I might do is just reallocate this $5 from office and put that to home as well. So there's $25 in there, which is a nice little buffer. I've already put some money into Samsung, so that doesn't need anything. And I still have $10. So what I might do... I might jump back into the bills binder. Bills, high priorities. I think while I've got it and while it's here, I'm going to, and I've already accounted to fully fund all of these ones, I'm going to put this extra $10 into gifts. Just because I know I'll need some money in here. We have $50, 55 60 $65. So that is good. And that extra 25 I'm going to put away into there. What's that? Quick maths. Is that going to take me up to 90? Which is a decent little amount to have in there. With, like, what, two months to spare until my next set of birthdays come up. Because my family just can't be original. They all have to have birthdays within, like, a week of each other. I've got my nana and my niece in July. I've got my brother and my sister both in September. I've got my mum and my other niece in November. I've got my partner and my nephew both in March. Like, <laughs> when it rains, it pours, you know? Okay, let's put these off to the side. And what I think I might do is just quickly go over I guess a bit of a shop update and then I will finish off on a on an office tour. So what I have coming to the shop. I haven't quite prepared myself for this portion of the video so please hold and I will be right back. Okay I think I am prepared. So what I will be bringing to the shop. If you followed me for a while you'll know that I have had these little strip heading inserts in my envelopes for quite some time. I like this because this allows me to utilize my envelopes over and over and over again. So I'm going to be starting to sell these. They will be customizable. Uh, you can have whatever you like on them. At this stage, I've got three colors, pink, something's making a noise over there, pink, blue, green, and yellow. Um, I am also thinking about purple. So let me know if purple is an option that you would like to see. But yeah, these will be completely customizable. They will be on my Etsy, I'm hoping within the next couple of days or so. So that is one option. They will obviously come in the color you choose, in the font you choose. Um, they will be laminated. This is a really thick, I think it's 125 GSM. It's a really thick paper. This one that I use for myself was just an 80, this is your standard printer paper, so it's a bit floopy floppy, but this one is a bit sturdier, so I think it will come out a lot nicer too. So, strip heading, envelope thingy, I need to figure out a name for these things, so if anybody has a good idea, <laughs> let me know in the comments. So they will be coming. Um, I have envelopes coming back in stock. I think they will be here tomorrow. So I will post something on my community page on YouTube because I know not everybody has Instagram, but I'll post something on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'll just post it everywhere that they're back in stock. So they will be on Etsy as well. I'm very excited for those to come back in. 
something else as I discussed before I will be having my this is a4 but let me show you if I have it handy this is just ignore my scribbles but this is a5 in size so it'll be a5 in size it'll be a, a rip-off notepad I think it'll have about 50 sheets um, it'll have the planner on there there is 20 rows for sinking funds so I was hoping 20 would be enough. I could probably, this is an old mock-up that I had. Obviously doesn't have the logo and stuff. Um, but I could probably make these a little bit smaller in order to fit in a couple more sinking fund spaces. So let me know if you think 20 is enough or if I should add some more. Just ignore me. I was playing. This is just, <laughs> this is a mess. Let's put that over there. Beautiful. All right, so we have my strip headings. We've got the A5 notepads coming. Envelopes should be back in stock tomorrow. But something to launch today. This will be live now while you're watching this video. I've got scratch off challenges finally. I have had the stickers here in my office for the longest time. I just haven't had the time to sit down, design them, make them and all the rest. But now that your girl is unemployed, she's got all the time in the world to make pretty beautiful things. So $100 scratch off challenges will be live on the website now while you're watching this. I'm very excited for these. I have a whole set planned for these. I have mystery ones planned. There is a lot of exciting things coming, but for the time being, I'm just starting off with the 100. The icons on here, the smallest will be five, the biggest will be 15. You know me, I'm a fan of little icon amounts because there's not always a whole lot left over in these envelopes at the end of the week for me especially now more than ever so yes scratch off challenges are coming well scratch off challenges are here so i am very excited for that so what i'm going to do now is just give you a very quick little office tour um i'm not going to talk in this video i'm not going to take you through any of the drawers or anything because they're all a bit of a hot mess um but yeah, I will jump to that and if you've made it all the way to nearly the very end of this video, I don't know, leave me your favourite emoji in the comments. Give me some reassurance that I haven't made the craziest decision of my life to quit my job without another job. But yes, anyways, that's for me to <laughs> dwell on I suppose. All right, I will see you on Wednesday for a weekly variable expenses cash stuffing. And until then, keep safe and I will see you in the next one.